China just made a massive leap in robotics, and the entire world is shocked. At the 2024 Spring Festival Gala, 16 humanoid robots took the stage and performed a perfectly synchronized dance alongside human performers. These weren't just pre-programmed machines executing rigid movements. These robots adapted, balanced, and interacted like real dancers. Meanwhile, Figure AI has just severed ties with OpenAI to develop its own in-house artificial intelligence, signaling a major shift in the AI industry. Tesla's Optimus robot now faces serious competition in the field of humanoid robotics, and NVIDIA is working on training robots to move like professional athletes. The race for the most advanced AI-powered humanoid is intensifying, and the stakes have never been higher. At the heart of this robotics revolution is China's latest showcase. The Spring Festival Gala, an event watched by over a billion people, became the stage for a breakthrough moment in AI and robotics. The humanoid robots built by the Chinese robotics company Unitree flawlessly executed a traditional Yangi dance. They moved in perfect sync with their human counterparts, tossing and catching handkerchiefs, spinning with precision, and maintaining complete stability throughout the performance. What makes this remarkable is the fact that most humanoid robots struggle with basic balance. A small shove can send them toppling over, and even walking smoothly can be a challenge. Yet, these Unitry H1 robots showcased an entirely new level of control and fluidity. They achieved this through three months of intense AI training and a positioning system called Laser Slam, which allowed them to detect subtle variations in the stage floor and adjust accordingly. Each Unitry H1 robot stands at 1.8 meters, 5 feet 11 inches, and weighs 47 kilograms, 104 pounds. These robots first made their debut in August 2023 and even appeared at NVIDIA's GTC conference in 2024. The price tag? Roughly 650,000 yuan, about $90,000 per unit. Beyond the impressive dance performance, this event signifies something much bigger. China's growing dominance in AI and robotics. The country is making rapid advancements, and this is just one example. Another is DeepSeek a powerful AI assistant developed in China that recently made headlines for its capabilities. However, its rise has also sparked concerns about data security, particularly in India, where officials are closely monitoring its activities. Even Elon Musk chimed in with his opinion on DeepSeek, though his reaction was far from enthusiastic. While China is grabbing attention, other players in the robotics industry are making strategic moves. Take Figure AI, for example. This company has been developing a humanoid robot called Figure O2, designed for both commercial and residential use. Last year, Figure AI raised an astonishing $675 million in funding, bringing its total valuation to $2.6 billion. So far, the company has secured $1.5 billion in funding to bring its vision to life. The biggest surprise came when Figure AI announced its decision to cut ties with OpenAI. Originally, OpenAI was a key investor, and the two companies were collaborating on next-generation AI models for humanoid robots. However, Figure AI's CEO, Brett Adcock, has now revealed a dramatic shift. The company no longer wants to rely on OpenAI and will develop its AI models entirely in-house. Why the change? According to Adcock, outsourcing AI development is not enough. Running a humanoid robot in real time demands AI that is fully optimized for handling complex, real-world tasks. He believes that controlling both hardware and software is essential for creating a truly capable humanoid robot. Interestingly, OpenAI is not retreating from humanoid robotics. The company has invested in the Norwegian startup OneX, which is also developing humanoid robots. Furthermore, OpenAI recently filed a trademark for AI-powered humanoids designed to learn, communicate, and even entertain. So while Figure AI is moving independently, OpenAI remains deeply entrenched in the robotics field. Figure AI's first major implementation is in industrial settings. BMW has already started testing Figure humanoid robots in its South Carolina factory. If these trials succeed, it could open the door for large-scale industrial use. Adcock has also teased that Figure AI will unveil something groundbreaking in the coming month, raising expectations across the robotics industry. 
Meanwhile, Tesla is advancing its Optimus project. Elon Musk recently took to X, formerly Twitter, to showcase Optimus's robotic hand, calling it more complex than a Fabergé egg. This sparked immediate competition. Clone Robotics, another robotics company, responded by claiming their own humanoid hand is not only lighter, but also stronger, thanks to artificial muscles instead of traditional metal motors. They even humorously claimed their robotic hands were soft enough to provide massages and hugs. This rivalry over robotic hands highlights a larger competition. Tesla's motor-based actuators versus Clone Robotics' muscle-based approach. Tesla's method focuses on precise motor control, while Clone Robotics argues that artificial muscles offer superior strength, require fewer components, and reduce overall weight. The real question remains, which approach will prove to be more effective in real-world applications? Perhaps the most ambitious robotics project yet is NVIDIA's latest initiative. Partnering with Carnegie Mellon University, NVIDIA is developing an advanced training framework called ASAP, short for Aligning Simulation and Real-World Physics for Learning Agile Humanoid Whole Body Skills. The aim? To make humanoid robots move with the finesse of professional athletes. To achieve this, researchers used motion data from some of the world's greatest athletes. They analyzed Cristiano Ronaldo's powerful strikes, LeBron James's signature silencer celebration, and Kobe Bryant's legendary fadeaway shot. They even studied the dance moves of K-pop sensation Rose. By utilizing a tool called TRAM, they converted these performances into 3D motion data, which was then used to train robots in a simulated environment. However, making robots move like humans isn't as simple as replicating video footage. A significant challenge exists, the real to sim to real gap. Robots may perform flawlessly in simulations, but once tested in reality, Factors like motor heat, mechanical stress, and unexpected physics can cause them to malfunction. To counter this, NVIDIA's research team devised an innovative method. The robots first undergo training in a simulated environment. Then, once tested in real-world conditions, they gather data from every movement, including failures. That data is then fed back into the simulation, refining the AI to make future actions smoother and more precise. This means that the next time a robot attempts a basketball jump shot or a dance spin, it will execute the movement with improved accuracy and grace. Yet pushing robots to their limits comes with challenges. Complex movements accelerate hardware wear and tear. Motors overheat and mechanical stress can cause damage. During NVIDIA's testing phase, two humanoid robots suffered breakdowns due to the intensity of their movements. To mitigate this, researchers are developing damage-aware policies, AI-driven adaptations that allow robots to adjust in real time before critical failures occur. One thing is clear. The AI and robotics race is advancing faster than ever before. China is taking bold strides with humanoid robots that are evolving at an unprecedented pace. Figure AI's decision to break from OpenAI marks a new era in humanoid AI development. The battle between motor-based and muscle-powered robotic hands is intensifying. And NVIDIA's pioneering training methods may redefine how robots learn and move in the future. And the biggest question now is, what's next? Will Figure AI's upcoming reveal redefine humanoid robotics? Will Tesla's Optimus finally fulfill Musk's ambitious vision? And will NVIDIA's approach unlock the secret to robots with truly lifelike movement? If you found this deep dive into AI and robotics fascinating, don't forget to subscribe. We'll continue bringing you the latest breakthroughs in this rapidly evolving industry. Stay tuned.